New at six, jail time for a teen who hurt two Milwaukee police officers, then drove off. The Destiny folks hit a parked van with his car near Sherman and Villard last July. That van then hit two officers who suffered a broken leg. Kristen Byrne joining us live from the Milwaukee County Courthouse after speaking with folks' father and one of the officers who was hit. Today, the teen's father and his attorney asked the judge for just probation, saying the now 19 year old hasn't had any run ins with the law and is remorseful for the accident. But their testimony not enough. Now 19 years old, LaDonna Stay Folks was placed in handcuffs and will start a 10 month jail sentence today, then probation for about three years for this hit and run last July. His dad frustrated with the outcome in court. I just don't feel like this system is even fair at all. Like it just wasn't fair. Folks convicted with two felonies after he crashed into a parked van in Milwaukee's northwest side, which then struck Officer Andrew Marks and Officer Paul Marchese, who were on the sidewalk. They could have died. And you saw that when you were there. Folks himself apologized in court, telling the judge jail shouldn't be his punishment. The justice system isn't a place for me to be. Both Milwaukee officers suffered serious wounds. One hurt his elbow and shoulder, the other a broken leg and a gash to his face, telling the court that has caused emotional stress to his family. As we've seen the last month or so, not every officer goes home at the end of the at the end of their shift. Although folks turned himself into police, the judge says his decision to leave the scene played a big role in her decision. But the fact is, that because you left, it became a crime. Besides jail time, LaDonna Stay Folks has to pay $1,700 in restitution money, most of that the officer's medical costs. At the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Kristen Byrne, today's TMJ4.